just wanted to come on here and just say that I don't do what I do for you to feel sorry for me or for you to be like, or for me to be like, oh, boohoo me, because I've gotten accused of that before by a bully, by a Karen, actually, a big fat Karen um, on one of my previous videos. And she just continued claiming that I just here to make people feel sorry for me. And no, that's not what I'm doing this for. I've been dealing this for 23 years, sweetheart. I'm not here for you or anybody to feel sorry for me. I've done enough of that, feeling sorry for myself over the last 23 years. I do this to bring awareness. I do this to educate. I do this because I don't want any little 14 year old, 12 year old, 13 year old girl out there who had just gotten the same diagnosis as myself at that age to know that you are not alone, that you will not go through this journey alone. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they can't talk about their POI or infertility or they can't or have anybody to reach out to that understands what it actually fucking feels like because it feels like fucking shit and it does. That's why I do this today. I also do this because I had no one. I had no one. I had no one to talk to that would understand what I was going through. I knew no one with an early or premature menopause, young like myself or another teen that went through the same thing. No one my entire life until recently because of social media. And that's what I want. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they're alone in this journey that they have no one to turn to or talk to you know like I know I'm all fucked up too I got my own shit to deal with but at the same time I'm I'm a good listener I have a big heart I know what that feels like and I am here to help you guide you just like I want you to help me and guide me too I invite you all to check out my Instagram page at Anaoki's Closet or my blog anaokiscloset.com where I share awareness, I educate on menopause, infertility, POI. Um, I'm a very emotional writer so you know if you're going to read some of my stuff you might want to have a Kleenex with you. <laughs> Um, I started my blog, it was a way to cope with my mental health and it was probably the best thing that my um, counselor could have suggested and I'm happy that I'm doing it because it's helping me, it's helping others, it's just amazing. And everybody that's been supporting me and pushing me through this depression rut that I've been going through lately, thank you, thank you, thank you, I love you guys.